thank you everyone who came. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded. We try to post them on YouTube. I had some problems with the one from last week. I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, there was a some sort of bug in in Fuse Meetings uh, project, but that are with our uh, product. So we will uh, I'll get that up as soon as I can, and hopefully this one will also be up. Um, we'll just uh, get to our agenda uh, introductions. Everybody knows everyone here. Um, I can talk about uh, board farm status from my end, first of all. Um, I was going to send a, uh, a big pull request um, that implemented uh, my uh, running the test as non-root on the LAN and the WAN devices, or actually all devices in, in, the, um, in the, uh, the board farm. Uh, I, I, when I started writing it up, I realized that there was some stuff that I was doing in Ansible to kind of prepare the system to actually run that way. Um, and I thought, you know, it'd be better to actually have that in the board farm repository. So um, I'm writing a script that actually, you know, sets permissions and um, sets proper things for sudo that, you know, for running things as sudo and, and things like that. Um, so I'm, I have to say, I'm probably about um, 75% of the way through that, I have to do some more testing, and then I'll add that, and then that will kind of be a, you know, if somebody wants to run as non-root, it's a quick kind of just get the system in a state where I can run as root, or as non-root. Um, so it's pretty uh, pretty good so far, and um, I'm happy with it, and then once that's done, I'll actually uh, s submit my pull request. Um, obviously, also, the, I'll have to be taking some stuff out of Ansible there that uh, is already in Ansible. Uh, I also saw that uh, Mikal from um, uh, from CZ Nick has has submitted an, a new pull request. He uh, he also accepted one of mine. Um, so his is related to uh, if you have it connected to a serial port. Uh, occasionally, uh, he had some concern. He had some issues with the serial port not uh, having errors that are kind of random. So he uh, developed a way to run tests multiple times in those cases. Um, that were intermittent, but it, it, you know, there wasn't an actual problem. It just wasn't completing for some reason. Uh, so that that's good stuff. Um, I uh, this is sort of related to Board Farm, but I also got a call or um, an email from uh, some folks from a company called Zito Vault. Uh, they are uh, involved in building software for security on routers primarily they contacted me because they were really interested in board farm and understanding a little bit more what purple wrt is doing so i i, I uh, had a conversation with them for about uh, 45 minutes yesterday they're very interested in what we're doing they had said they were going to come to the meeting today um but it may not have worked out for them or, or whatnot um but they they want to continue to be involved Zito Vault, Z I T O Vault. They're based in uh, in San Diego, I believe. Um, so I also, because they're involved in security, I also, uh, you know, referred them to uh, Chisari to talk about some of the security stuff too. It may be interesting to them. Um, but very, uh, very interesting conversation. They're very interested in board farm, so they're they're really excited uh, about the. Um, about some of the, some of the you know activity around it and and the work that uh, that I'm doing and everyone's doing it's it's very good so always good to see that and there's you know see people see more and more forks of board farm every day so that's good um any any board farm status uh from you Paul any any updates <laughs> any changes anything uh no with the, what we're tackling at the moment is more about how we deal with all the various pull requests that we're well expecting to come in so we're, yeah. we're kind of like hiving off builds into virtual machines and um mm -hmm. then i think we in parallel we are just trying to run the tests on board farm so it's really just a case if we know that some tests are fine other tests aren't just mm -hmm. trying to figure out what's going on there it might be us it might not be yeah definitely um, uh, but yeah the the priority at the moment is try and get the input to where Boar Farm would then run, which is the the build outputs. So we're kind of uh, grappling with that recently. Okay. Should be done this sprint, and I hope that we'd have at least one Boar Farm setup we can use 
after that. I think one of the mm -hmm. questions which the team mentioned to me about was if we're whether we're going to be able to control oh whether we're going to be able to start the tests from our Jenkins client and then report back results to our Jenkins server. I, I haven't gone into that, but they've mentioned that that might be tricky. Let's see. Um, I mean, I, I know that um, the QCA starts them from a Jenkins client or, okay. or, or Jenkins server. Uh, I don't know if it gets reported back. Um, okay. Uh, I would, there's nobody from QCA here today. I mean, Kathy, do you happen to know that either way? If, no, no, they have it all automated, but I don't know what they, if they wrote their own script or hooked it up okay. some other way, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, I do know that, that there's stuff in Board Farm for doing, um, they were sending them to things like, um, I'm zoning on what it was, but it, it was, it was, uh, like MySQL databases and stuff like that, but that was more just their use case. Um, I, I think it would be good if we had a, a better a reporting mechanism, um, and that might be something that that uh, you know the folks at Imagination it would make sense. Like say, hey, we have a reporting mechanism. How do you report back to say Jenkins or something? What how the result happened uh, or or things like that? If there's a need to do that. Um, Something to think about, I guess. Um, yeah, let's see. I mean, it was only a, it was only mentioned to me as a comment. So, mm -hmm. Oh uh, yeah, I think we'll look into it. But uh, if we have troubles, we'll let you know. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. I we certainly, I think the 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 reporting uh, uh, infrastructure there is it, it's pretty limited right now, uh, and a little bit one off. So I think anything we could, um, folks could, you know, suggest or improve upon that'd be great. Mm. Definitely, and and I also want to want to publicly thank Paul. He sent me um, kind of a description and design of how they have set up uh, their uh, testing Wi-Fi with with coax cable and 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 kind of um, in attenuators, and it, it's a pretty cool design and and very um, was very understandable for me who has uh, you know a pretty limited radio background. I you know know a little bit but not probably about enough to hurt myself um and so it was it was great and i'm going to uh it, and i asked paul and it, we're going to post that to the wiki into the uh into the list i mean because i think that's very valuable to people to kind of understand well here's how some people are doing this and, and i would assume that it's not too different for how other people are doing it i mean there's you might have a slightly different setup but not too different um so I, I really good stuff there. No problem. Uh, yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Um, funding open WRT projects. I, I don't think we've done too much with that this week. Uh, you know, Kathy and I should probably uh, talk offline a little bit about you know how do we want to want to tackle this a little bit more. Um, regulatory update. I don't really have any. Um, uh, the uh, Zeta Vault folks were a little concerned. At, they they had mentioned in their call that they they were wanted to know more about that. And I I seconded that I would like to know more about that too because it, it's been a very uh, vague situation with the FCC. Um, Open WRT Summit. Uh, I have some more people that have agreed to uh, to be on the planning committee. Uh, we now have. Uh, we had mentioned uh, Luca and uh, Imri uh, Bedrick Kozada from uh, CZNIC. Um, uh, uh, I have invited Kathy, and you know she she accepted, which makes sense as she is the chair of the of the PEG. Um, I'm going to be on there. Uh, we also have Federico from. Uh, he spoke at the last uh, conference um, on, I believe it was Open Mesh. I think it was called. He's involved some in uh, in Battle Mesh, and he's also part of the Ninex project. Um, so they're a downstream user of OpenWRT. So I think there's some really interesting uh, discussion around how communities that are downstream users of OpenWRT, 
what is the overlap between what they're doing and companies that are downstream users or open WRT. Um, I also invited some other folks who, who have not gotten back to me. Uh, Hans, Hans de Decker from uh, 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 Technicolor accepted as well. Um, and I, I may be forgetting somebody else. Uh, but uh, as always, we still welcome people who are interested in participating. Uh, there is really, we have, I don't think we're too worried about having too many people. So um, I, you know, I very much encourage you if you're from, if you just have any interest in this topic to, uh, to get involved. Um, but I, I, it's, it's, we're getting uh, some pretty good feedback. Oh, of course, Hauke also uh, volunteered um, and very happy about that. Uh, so uh, once that's done, then um, I will get the first meeting organized for the the planning committee, and then we can we can you know hash out some of the details on on how much we're going to need and where it's going to be and and what day and and those kind of basics, and then go from there. But uh, very excited about the about the broad range of people we're getting. Do you know if there's any reps from IMG already? Currently, no, there are not. We would hmm. we would love love someone. I mean, I think uh, someone you know either from your team or the people involved in the Creator Project would be perfect for that. Yeah, um, I did ask because I uh, I opened WRT. My my team aren't well as involved as other teams, so mm -hmm. I did ask the one of the other teams whether they were interested, and uh, I think he was asking the same sort of question. Well, not me, but somebody else. So. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me speak to uh, to Jeremy. Maybe he's got some ideas. Uh, I mean, I guess I could join. I don't think I'm the best person, but yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it, it, we're we're not too picky. We're we're <laughs> I, you know I'm I'm just you know pretty much anybody who says they're interested, I, I'm I'm accepting them. So um, and then we'll I think I think it's going to go well because I I've, it, it's very important that we have this broad set of people that we have a lot of the core people we have a lot of the community people who are maybe not in the core but either use open wrt or use a, use a uh just um a downstream distribution or and of course have it companies that are involved in this so um mm -hmm. a good a good mix of people will get us i think a good result so i'm, I'm excited about it so yes certainly we would welcome someone from imagination which would be you know i think very logical to be involved Sure, I'll I'll check with Jeremy, and if if he doesn't say anybody else, then I'll just uh, I'll just do it myself. Awesome, <laughs> please do. Yeah, just just email me, and and once if you know if you decide to do it or whatnot, and we can go from there. Okay. Awesome. Uh, are there any other topics that we wanna wanna propose? Um, that we wanna discuss? Uh, I haven't. Uh, don't uh, don't have anything else that anyone mentioned, but. Not for me, Eric, I don't think. Okay. Well, that's awesome. That's fine. Uh, Kathy? No, I'm about to arrive at the station, so I'll, uh, I'll drop off now. Okay. Well, thank you for joining. Right. Well, Bye. with, yep, see ya. Well, I think we can, we can cut it short then. No worries. Um, you know, yep. Thank you everyone for joining and, uh, see you again next week. Yep. See ya. Yes. Bye.